Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope that everyone is staying safe and sound in this pandemic and I hope that you're all ready to learn something new today. But first, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know when my videos come out and please subscribe. By you subscribing to my videos, it shows me that you appreciate what I am doing and I thank all of you who have subscribed in the past and for those who I know will be subscribing in the future. So <clears throat> yesterday I did a lesson on the Mets, I'm a big Mets fan, so that's my fun. Uh, but back to my you know, channel that it normally is. Remember, I talk about food, language, and culture. So we did food. Today we're going to be doing something about language. So today we're going to be, <coughs> excuse me, today we're going to be doing a lesson on Tagalog. Now, the last few times I did it using the blackboard, but I actually found this online, so I figured this is what I wanted to do, so this is what I'm going to do today. Okay, so, 14 basic Filipino food phrases to know when dining in a Philippine restaurant. Okay. Now, remember, I'm not Filipino. I'm still learning like you. So if my pronunciation is that great, you can understand. Eating out in the Philippines is an adventure in itself. The local culinary scene is a rich hodgepodge of influences from within the country and abroad, adapted into recipes that are distinctly Filipino. To enrich your dining experience, it doesn't hurt to know a few practical Filipino food phrases that will also reveal more about the Filipino dining culture. Here are 14 basic Filipino food phrases that should come in handy next time you dig into Filipino food at a restaurant. So it could be used as a restaurant here, doesn't have to be in the Philippines. Okay, so eating at a restaurant. Stepping into a restaurant and speaking in a new language the first time can be daunting, but we've got you covered with these go-to lines. So I can go to a Korean restaurant with no problem order everything. Tagalog, not yet, but I'm learning. Mesa por para sa dalawa. Table for two, please. So mesa means table. Uh, po means please. Para means four. And dalawa means two. So if you have two people, the Philippines are known for their hospitality, so chances are there's an assigned waiter taking orders right outside the restaurant when he or she greets you. Nod back as a sign of courtesy, then say, Mesa Paul para sa dalawa, to request your table. Now, if you want more, uh, tatlo is three. Um, I, I don't remember four. I really haven't learned numbers. Okay. So the waiter should happily lead you and your guests to the table. But if you're about to dine in a well-known restaurant, expect to wait for a few minutes. Okay? Yeah, see, Tatlo is three. They tell you the numbers. Isa is one, Dalo is two, and Tatlo is three. That's the only thing I learned. One, two, and three. Okay. Pahingi po nang menu. Okay. May I have the menu? Okay. So uh, pahingi means may. Uh, po means like please, and nang menu means the menu. Of course, uh, you could just say menu po, menu please. It's a lot easier, you know, or ang menu po means the menu please. Sometimes the menu isn't placed on your table yet, so while raising your hand in the easiest way to get hold of the list, it pays to be polite via the local tongue in every possible way. So you just say that. Okay, so ordering a meal. Okay. So here they're giving an example of adobo, which is a, Fil a Filipino dish. Medan ba kayong adobo? So do you have adobo? question. And 
either they would say oh, oh which means yes or hinde which means no we all have our eyes set on trying that particular Filipino food that we've read is one of the locals must try cuisines so don't be shy to ask that the restaurant is offering the food you've been dying to try for example if it's adobo inquire by saying meron ba kayong adobo or replace adobo whatever you're craving so if you want pancit just change adobo to pancit or whatever the food it is but the same question uh, ano pong bestseller neo what's your bestseller personally I would never ask for a bestseller because in my opinion no matter what restaurant you go to the bestseller or the uh, special of the day sometimes is what they have the most of and what they're trying to get rid of but if you want to ask for the bestseller Ano Pong bestseller please so Ano means what Pong means your the bestseller, okay. While we've probably done all of the research and want to hear in the Philippines, there will be dining moments when we'll be overwhelmed by the choice. So if you're overwhelmed and you don't know what to do, just make sure that you know what it is that you're eating. That's the whole point. Okay. Maang Han Ba Ito. Is this spicy? So this one is one that I always use because I can't eat spicy food. So you can ask if it's spicy. Okay. The next one. Okay. Here's a good one to know. Allergic akosa. So allergic means allergy. I too. So I'm allergic to. So for example, mani is peanuts. So if you're allergic to peanuts, you have to let them know. Or for me, I'm allergic to fish, so I would say allergic akosa ista, which that means fish. So make sure you you know to let them know what you have an allergic to, allergy to. This one's a pretty easy, you know. So here they, they uh, you know, they talk about money. Like kari kari is made with peanuts. Okay. Isa pang. So one, please, one whatever please. You know, uh, one burger please. Isa pang burger. Okay. You know, Dalawa, two pong burger. Uh, Tatlo pong burger. So, you know, these are short um, phrases that are good to know. Okay, this one is a big phrase. Even I don't remember this one. Kaano katagal po kami maki hintai. So, how long will the wait be? Um, I would just use ano oras, what time, you know, but again, that's, you know, one of their suggestions, okay. So, this one, we all, you know, I know even for a long time, kain na, means let's eat, very simple phrase. So when you're ready to eat, you just say, let's eat. Okay, so here they're just telling you um, too big is water, cafe is coffee, cha'a is tea. So, you know, they'll ask if you want coffee or tea or water, you just tell them that, you know, um, uh, too big, Paul. So, too big means water, Paul means please. Okay, very easy to say Paul, you know. Water, please, or just like the American style, you could do that in the Philippines restaurant. Try to make it simple. Okay. Okay. 
pahingi pa po nang tubig. So may I have more water? You know, again, I would just say tubig po meaning water. But again, you could do that if you want to. The easiest phrases are like two or three words at the longest. Okay. Okay. So, young bill, Paul, the bill, please. Or you could also say, ang bill, Paul. Ang could also mean the. Okay. Okay. So, here. Paki balot nalang po ito. I'd like this to go, please. Okay. So we know that uh, I believe paki balot means go. Uh, nalang means like, please, and ito means this. So I'd like this to go, please. Okay. Uh, probably you could just probably say paki balot po. To go, please, instead of having a long sentence. I'm just telling you what they say, and that's not exactly what I'm going to say. That's why I was telling you. Okay. Ang sarap ng pakain niyo. Okay. That's the food is delicious. Again, I would just say masarap, very delicious. You don't have to say what is very delicious. You just can say masarap. That's how I use say very delicious. Okay, so those are useful phrases. Uh, notice that they give you uh, on the bottom what the phrases were and the meanings. I found this at um, the smartlocal.com. So you can find a lot of this stuff on the internet. But I try to be very careful what I find on the internet and what I actually use because even even my wife said um, sometimes for, for menu they, they, they ask for uh, like a totally different different phrase pahingi uh, po nang menu I probably missed that one because uh, I don't remember saying that may I have the menu you could just say menu po so menu please Anyway, I hope that, you know, you learned something. Again, what I would suggest is you take a screenshot of this page that I'm showing you now, and then you have it for future reference. Okay. Uh, I will try to post the link to this page, you know, in case you want to practice this or you want to memorize it. Again, if you like what you see, give me a big thumbs up. It really helps with the YouTube algorithm. Hit that bell notification so you know my videos come out. And subscribe. You know, by you subscribing to my channel, it makes me feel that you appreciate what I'm doing. And I thank you very much. I will see you tomorrow where I will probably either do a cultural lesson or maybe a lesson on Korean. I'm not sure yet. But I will see you tomorrow and stay safe.